Alright, welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel. We need to go make it over to our entrance ceremony. For the military academy. I shall take my leave here, milady. I pray you find victory here in both your studies and your training. Thank you, Klaus. I'm leaving everything in your hands while Father is away. Understood, milady. Oh, please excuse my rudeness, young sir. It truly is a splendid day, is it not? The start of a new chapter in the lives of so many promising youths. Allow me to express my sincerest congratulations on your admittance into this fine academic institution. Oh. Thank you very much. I'm guessing he's a butler. He certainly looks the part. That means the girl with him must have been a noble. She did have a certain dignity about her. I wonder if she's from a famous military family or something. Okay. So we ran into two, three classmates. Um, see if we can run into any more before we go to our entrance ceremony. Seems like this is one of the Academy's dorms. Too early to be wandering inside. Let's check out this side over here. We haven't been here yet. I think this is the only area we haven't been to. This is another student, but he's in a different class. <laughs> Trying to be friendly by being rude, I guess. This is what? I thought it said lower... Oh, I can't see the tooltip anymore? Well, what? There he is. Lower class dorm. So that's probably where our dorm is going to be, because that's an upper class dorm on that side, so... Anyways. To the academy for the entrance ceremony. So this is it. Thor's Military Academy. Founded by the legendary Emperor Dreykels himself. Thank you for your patience, sir. We've arrived at the Academy. Much obliged. Please, if you'll allow me to take your luggage. That won't be necessary. I prefer to avoid standing out too much. Uh, but, sir... This isn't open for debate. Take whatever rest you need, then return to Berea hard. As you wish. I shall be departing then, sir. May your time spent in these hallowed halls be all you've hoped for. Please take care of yourself. An Orville limousine, and one of Reinford's fanciest models, too. 
looks like even Erebonia's upper crust send their children here. And it looks like we're going to school with a bunch of snobby nobles. Well, actually, they don't seem that snobby at all. Um... Okay. Oh, where did we get Welcome that? Welcome to Thor's Military Academy. Do we always have that thing on our back? Hmm. You're... let's see... Yes, you're the last of them. That'd make you... Rain Schwarzer, right? Uh, yes, that's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. But... How do you know me? <laughs> it's a long story. Don't sweat the details right now. Is that your weapon you've got wrapped up? I'll need to hold on to that for the time being. Oh, right. It mentioned something about that in the guidebook. We ended the bag to the boy. I guess that's our sword. Thanks. We should be able to return it to you before long. You'll hardly even miss it. I just realized that they're calling this guy Chubby Boy. <laughs> okay. The entrance ceremony is going to be held in the auditorium. Just head straight back. You can't miss it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your first day at Thor's. We're glad to have you. I hope these next two years will be a fruitful time for you. I guess those two must be second years. That girl definitely looked younger than me, though. And what was that about me being the last? I'm not seriously the very last student to check in, am I? Sounds like it's about time for the ceremony, ceremony to start, though. Well, here's to the start of a great two years. Now, if I may, I'd like to say a few words in closing about this Academy's illustrious history. Thor's Military Academy was founded almost 220 years ago. Its founder, as I'm sure you're all aware, was none other than the great Emperor Dreykels. The very same Emperor who ended the War of the Lions and returned prosperity to the Erebonian Empire. Thirty years after becoming Emperor, in the later years of his life, he opened the doors of this institution. It was to be a place where young people like yourselves could learn the art of war. But with the mechanization of the military, many of our graduates now pursue careers outside the army. Our mission, however, remains the same. To prepare our students to fulfill Emperor Dreykel's famous mandate. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. Though much has happened these past two and a quarter centuries, the world is still the domain of the young. Yet still the question remains, what qualities must one possess to become a part of its foundation? I hope this credo will serve as a guide and an inspiration to you during your two years at this academy. Go forth, my students. The world awaits the great things you will one day accomplish. The foundation of the world, huh? <laughs> no pressure, right? Yeah, no kidding. Though, this is Dreykel's the Lionheart we're talking about. He didn't earn his nickname by taking the easy road. Guess we've got more to worry about than just passing exams, huh? 
<laughs> I guess we do. Elliot Craig. I'm Elliot Craig. Nice to meet you. I actually pronounced his name properly. Reen Schwarzer. Hey, looks like we're sporting the same school fashion. Yeah, no idea what the red uniform is supposed to mean, though. Most of the other students are wearing green. Well, except for the ones in the white uniforms. Those must be the nobles. Looks that way. Though... Hmm? Something wrong? Nah, just thinking to myself. And that brings us to the close of Thor's 215th entrance ceremony. Next, please proceed to the class designated in your guidebook. There, you will go over the school rules as well as your class's curriculum. That is all. Dismissed! The class designated in our guidebook? I don't remember seeing anything like that. There wasn't any information on that in mine, either. I just assumed they'd tell us where to go after the ceremony. All right! Students in red uniforms, if I can have your attention, please. By now, you're probably all confused. Where's my class assignment, you're probably thinking? That's perfectly understandable. Your situation is a little more complicated than the other students. But before I explain, I'd like all of you to join me for a special orienteering exercise. What? Did you mean an orientation exercise? Hmm. Worry not. Everything will be made clear soon enough. Now, right this way, if you would. Um... Looks like we're gonna have to follow her if we want any answers. <sighs> what do you think this is all about? I have no idea, but we're not going to accomplish anything just standing around here. We should go with her. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. I was thinking the exact same thing. What is this place? Why is there a building this dilapidated on campus? It looks like it should have been torn down ages ago. <laughs> what does she even want us to do here? <sighs> is she ever going to tell us what's going on? I suppose we'll just have to go inside and see for ourselves what awaits us. Th this place looks like some old haunted mansion or something. Now that you mention it, it kind of does. I think this is everyone I've seen with the red uniform so far. I guess we really are part of the same class then. So, these are our new underclassmen, huh? Yep. They've got a different set of hoops to jump through than we did, though. I'm just happy all our work's paying off. I'd hate to have put in a year's worth of effort for nothing. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Wait, when did you do any work? You were just slacking off the whole time. <laughs> Says the master slacker. 
Still, looks like Elisa's got some stiff competition. Quite a bevy of beauties they've got there. And I'm looking forward to getting intimately acquainted with each and every one of them. Oh, you know one of them? Er, wait. No, no, not these ones too. Stop flirting with every damn girl you lay eyes on. Do you have any idea how many guys at this school have gotten their hearts broken because of your libido? Uh -huh. Did did you just sneer at me? Oh, you did, didn't you? Come on now, no fighting you two. Well, look who finally made it. Nice work you two. You got our little chickadees all sorted out, I take it. Yep. They're all bright-eyed and ready to go. So from here on out, we're gonna have to give it all we've got to support this fledgling class. <laughs> now you sound the part of the student council president. Guess she's going all in. Well, they'd be in for a pretty rough time if we didn't help out a little. At least to start with, anyway. Everything's ready over there, right? You betcha. Just like the instructor asked. Can't help but feel a little sorry for them, though. Same here. They've got no idea what they're being tossed into. The class they've been picked for didn't even exist before this year. Guess all we can do is watch and see what they're made of, right? Hmm. Well, hopefully things will be made clear to us soon, because I am very confuzzled at the moment. The name's Sarah Valestein. I'm the instructor in charge of Class 7, which means you get the pleasure of seeing me all year. Glad to finally meet you. Wait, Class 7? Uh, us? I'm not sure I understand. I wasn't told anything about this at enrollment. Excuse me, Instructor Sarah? I was under the impression that there were only five classes at this academy. And that students were split among them based on their social class and home region. Right you are, Miss Top Scorer on the Thor's entrance exam. Students in each year are divided into five classes, two for the nobility and three for commoners. And it's been that way for ages, right up through last year. But this year, we decided to shake things up a little. Wh what do you... We now have a sixth class. Fittingly titled, Class 7. And in Class 7, we recognize no distinction between nobles and commoners. <laughs> okay, I, I, I hope I'm not missing anything, but she said we have a sixth class titled Class 7. Just, just saying. Wait, you just jumped straight from 5 to 7? I'm glad Reen th is thinking the same thing I am. You're really putting nobles and commoners in the same class? <laughs> this must be some kind of joke! And why is this the first I've heard of it? Well, uh... Um... Who are you again? Machias Regnitz. And with all due respect, Instructor, it's ludicrous to intermix nobles and commoners like this! Must I be forced to spend my next two years shoulder to shoulder with those arrogant, stuck-up hedonists? Uh, you do know I'm not the one who made the decision, right? Besides, what's the big deal anyway? You're all kids. Can't you all just get along or something? Just, just get along? <laughs> and how would you propose we do that? What are you looking at? Oh, nothing much. I just find the irony of your behavior rather humorous. Is that so? 
It seems the scion of some noble house has left the comfort of his mansion to grace the unwashed masses with his wisdom. Please, my lord, do share your esteemed name with us so I can give you all the respect you deserve. Eusus Alborea. Not that I'd expect the name of an arrogant, stuck-up hedonist to lodge itself in that hard head of yours. He he's from one of the four great houses. The son of Duke Alborea, Lord of the Kreutzen province in the southeast. Well, you don't get much more noble than that. Interesting. I'd heard the rumors. Do you expect me to be impressed? Your family lineage means nothing to me. I'll never bend my knee to the likes of... Okay, okay, that's enough. I agree, that's enough. We'll take a break here. Next time we'll continue on and uh, see if we can maybe make some friends here at the Academy, although we're not off to a very good start at the moment. So as always, thanks for watching and until next time.